Hey everyone, this is Brandon One Arch, and today we have part two of the 50 comic books mystery lot that was $25 for it. I picked up at a, a local shop. Um, in the other video, I'd opened 25 of them. Well, not really opened, I showed you what they were, and I got to see what they were. But as usual, we'll do three piles. We'll do Marvel, DC, and we'll do independent comics. Um, there were, I would say out of that first box, I didn't have any of them at all whatsoever. Now, there'll be some I keep, there'll be some I get rid of, and go from there. Uh, so first up we have, I don't recognize this one. Oh, this is from Black Mask, Chapter 1. It's a, I don't even know, maybe the, the, the comics, maybe the comic, I don't know. But it's called Black Chapter 1, Black Mask. I don't know nothing about this one. Let's see. This is peak my interest. It's called Black Issue uh, Black Issue 1, Black Mask Studio. Okay, so I read it right. Ish. Show you the front cover. It's very cool looking. It's Game of Thrones with guns. Instead of swords, obviously. That's pretty cool. I have to check that one out. And that was a yeah, I don't remember what it said. Chapter well, chapter one dirt. Another Lark's Killer. Uh Devil's Do First Comics, number three. I think I don't remember what is the last one, but I know that's a different cover. Up next we have Poe Dameron from Star Wars, number seven. Actually, I thought Poe Dameron was pretty cool. I'm hoping he gets his own movie or show, showing about uh, how he became who he was, obviously. And then we have Vampirella Dynamite. This is a number one. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool looking. And the next one is another Robotech. I actually think this is the same one. A number one, I think that's the same one. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the Mighty Captain Marvel. This is a Frad Pie variant. Uh, number one from Marvel. So we're continuing the trend with some Marvels and Independence. Oh, this one's upside down. This is Redlands, issue number one. Mm. Is that a severed hand? <gasps> it's a severed hand. From Image Comics. Okay, I sounded probably too excited. Severed Hand, Image Comics, uh, Redlands, Issue 1. Okay, next up we have U.S. Avengers. Red Hulk against... Is that Iron Patriot? Number 6, Marvel Number 6. I kind of like that. I'll have to check into that. Ooh, up ne oh, the next one is... Secret Empire, Marvel, number one variant edition. You have Iron Fist, Luke Cage, maybe Jessica Jones, Not Sure, Daredevil, A Woman in All White, and um, Captain America. I wonder if this is when he, he go. for people who do not know, there's an evil version of Captain America. Okay, next. Inhumans, Once and Future Kings, number one. Ooh, Lockjaw bonus. See, Lockjaw has a bonus story. That's going to be great. This is a big doggy. Lockjaw number one. Well, Inhumans, number one. I got excited because it's Lockjaw. Kill the Minotaur, number six from Image Comics. This is different. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Where's all the DC comics? Ooh, Running with the Devil, Bullseye, number two. Running with the Devil. No, oh, sorry. Bullseye, number two. Ooh. 30 Days of Night, number one. Issue number one, IDW Comics. Oh, that's cool looking. Another one we have is Phoenix Resurrection. Uh, she's yelling at the Phoenix. This is a number one fried pod variant. A lot of uh, number ones. Love it. 
Up next, we have number one, the Thunder Generations. The Mighty Thor, the Unworthy Thor. Number one, Pride Pod variant. Up next, we have Jim and the Holograms. Pretty, this is a cartoon. Fried Pie variant, IDW Comics. It is a Valentine's special. Okay. And then we have Black Panther and the Crew, number one. Fried Pie variant. It's kind of cool. Got another cool one. The next one we have is Iron Man Generations. Iron Heart, the Iron. Iron, Iron, yeah, whatever. Marvel, number one. And the next one we have America, the number one. I think I've saw this one before. Fried pie variant. Ooh. Generation Zero. We are the future. A valiant number two, which I've I've heard of them. This is the next one is the Fallen One Civil War Two, with an angry Incredible Hulk. Oh God, he's always angry. Fried pie variant. Finally, Justice League of America, DC Universe Rebirth number one. The sad thing is, I finally get a DC comic, and I'm pretty sure I own that one. So yeah. But you won't know to watch it. I won't know to watch it. Next up, ooh, Iron Fist. Now, I like Iron Fist. I think he, the Netflix series kind of did him wrong. It's just my opinion. He's way cooler than they did what they did. But Iron Fist, number one, Fried Pie variant. Oh, Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, the big lie. Fried Pie variant from Dynamite. Now I'm trying to figure out if this is a number, I'm hoping it's a number one. Uh, I don't know if I've said in past videos, I'm big on number ones. Usually I won't even touch a comic book series until I get number one. And this is number one. This is volume one number one. So I will be checking that out because I love Nancy Drew and both the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. I kind of wish we could get a good Nancy Drew movie. There's been some okay ones. I haven't saw the show. But um, there's been a couple good movies but I would like to see a, a better Nancy Drew movie. And I don't even think they've done a Hardy Boys movie. They've talked about it. We'd love to see it. And then eventually team up. They could team up. They could do like a Marvel Universe where you have Nancy Drew, you have the Hardy Boys, and they team up. Why not? We're doing it with everything else. DC, Marvel, what, the monster movies. You, uh, too many of them. Last but not least... Oh, this is the Zombies version. I'm going to take this one out. Because I've... I don't know how this is in here. Oh, it's back backwards. But it's the zombies symbol too. So it's where some of the Avengers have went zombie. And of course on the front, and this is the number two of the series. On the front you have the Incredible Hulk. Which I guess I could put it back in the thing. But you have the Incredible Hulk. It is a uh, zombie smash. Hmm. I don't know. That's... I'll have to check that one out. Honestly, to me, 50 comics for $25 is not bad. I mean, you're looking at 50 cent a comic. Even usually when these are used, and I know I'm not putting this on a good way, but usually used comics, like you see this one is a, a great value at a dollar. Most, most comics when they come out, like I said before, is anywhere from $2 to you know, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars kind of depend on the, I guess, the size, the property, you know, um, and the number, or if it's like special. But out of all 50 of these, I would say I will probably keep 50 to 75 percent. They're good comics. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll read over them. Uh, if there, there's some I may like, I may not like, I don't know. Uh, won't know until I look at them. Of course, I'll go through them and see what I have. I don't have what I'll keep, what I don't keep, and then I'll just go from there. I, I'm half the time I'm not sure. I own so many already. I I know 
And I also shop for comics a lot. It could have been, I think I own this, and I've just saw it a million times. But not a bad haul. Uh, stay tuned for the future. I'll have more, more comic books, more Funko Pops, more mystery boxes, more Zobi boxes, uh, more Shumi boxes, which doing pop vinyl, all kind of other stuff. But yeah, go go check out Second Charles. It's uh, go to their website. I don't know how many locations they have, but go check them out. They're Second and Charles. Second is uh, the number two, and then ND for Second. Uh, go check them out. Hopefully, maybe there's one in your area. Hopefully so. Um, until next time, like, share, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. Uh, hope you have a good day. Until then, Alvita Zane.